finally reached it, Johnny Reb. Got Island Johnny Reb here to call this AIWF World Championship qualifying match. Winner of this match will advance to Blue Ridge, Georgia, May 25th to for the opportunity to become the AIWF World Champion. And Jason Blade is going for a pin quickly. Just the one count on the school to roll up. And now he's going to try to do a, a, a reverse cradle. Cradle back by Blade. Two count. In the first minute, Johnny Reb, we've had three two counts already. And another one. Oh my gosh, he almost pinned him. And a bridge out by Justin Flash, and he's rolling through it. Yeah, we've had all that, Scott, and the guys ain't even got to their feet yet. No. A two count. Referee Darren's been spending more time on the mat than Idaho. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> all right. And they, as both men get back to their feet, Jason Blade wants this badly. As does Justin Flash. Justin Flash was AIWF World Champion back in 2006. He's back a little bit differently, a little, much more of a ground game than he used to have, a much stronger, much stronger physique, and he's back in to try to get AIWF gold once again. Gosh, it's all a minute and 17 seconds, and I'm already out of breath. We got a, a test of strength here, and Jason Blade with the leverage advantage. He's got him. Oh, nope, only one count. Look at Justin Flash bridge out of that. Yeah, that extra added muscle he's put on uh, Scott really helps him with those kind of moves. And on the other hand, Jason Blade has dropped several pounds, and he's got a little more of a high-flying, faster uh, game plan going on now. That, yes, he has a, a frog splash finisher, and uh, you know, at one point, Jason Blade weighed about 280 pounds. He, he weighs, he's lost about 75 of that. So. Yeah, he's got a lot more speed, a lot more endurance in the ring, and, uh, you know, it should be a great match right here. It's, an, it's a 30-minute time limit. We might need every one of those 30 minutes. These two guys yeah. want it badly. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me to see it go to the limit. We had two longtime friends, Justin Flash and Jason Blade. Both came up around the same time, and now they're trying to get the AIWF World Championship. What a drop kick, by Justin. Beautiful drop kick right there. Jason Blade. Picture perfect rocket right across the chest and face of Justin Flair. Yeah, like you said, both of them been around, you know, about the same amount of time. No, no, really, not really a experience advantage wow. by either guy here. Leg lariat by Flash, staggering Blade out of the corner, top rope already. Big clothesline by Jason Blade. Just Justin Flash, excuse me. This is going to this is going to test my uh, linguistic abilities, Johnny Red. Blade tried to back up Flash out of the ring. Look at it. Oh, whoa. Oh, and he's Look going to suplex below. him out of the ring. Look out below. Here we go. Oh, he's oh. out of that. Okay. Now they're outside the ring, trading shots out on the apron. Referee Darren's just looking on and off. That could have been a disaster right there, Scott yes, Allen. I didn't like the looks of that at all. They could have taken out the front row. Yeah, and not to mention both of the competitors. Yeah. Here comes Jason Blade, suicide dive through the oh. ropes. My goodness. Jason Blade with a suicide dive, somersaulting through the ropes, putting his body at risk to try to get an advantage on Justin Flash, and it looks like it's worked, and what a chop. And Blade over thanking the front row for breaking his fall. <laughs> yep, and so am I, for that matter. And a slingshot himself off the ropes and a rolling elbow into the cover. Oh, we almost had him. Four minutes in, uh, and I'm already exhausted. <laughs> oh, what a chop, Johnny Red. You ever taken a chop like that right across the chest? Oh, I'm many of them. <laughs> Irish whip by Flash. Coming up, as spy oh. Good. Did you see the quickness of how he picked him up and spun around with that? He got really deep here. Body to belly to belly. That's my move right he there. Got, I love it. He held on. Wow. And another. We'll call it the Dos Amigos. And cover. One, two. Oh, my oh, gosh. He almost near, had him. Near, Too near fall. Near fall right near there. Fall, I'm going to have to stop and take a breath at some point, but they're not going to give me a chance. See, these Justin guys, are, they're going for it. What a suplex. Snapped him right over. Jason Blade needs to do something to break the momentum here. Off the second rope. Boom! Ball, and he nailed him. Here's the cover. Only two. 
You know, I heard these two guys in the back earlier that was talking, and, and like you said, they're great friends, long-time friends, but both of them agreed before the match, let's go out there, give the fans a show, leave it all in the ring, and may the best man win, and that's exactly what they're doing right now, Scott. The fans are almost in awe of this. Shot in by Flash, now Blade stops him with a boot. Off the second rope. Hurricane Rano! Oh, oh doctor! Are you kidding me? What a Huracan Rana by Jason Blade. He's going to try to pin him, but he's too close to the ropes. And he got a kick out anyway. Kick out by J Justin Flash. Huracan Rana off the second rope by Jason Blade. That is the first time I've seen him do that move quite in that way. Yeah, we're only, well, five, six minutes in this match, and I bet there's been a dozen two counts already. Re referee Darren's going to need op oxygen after this. So, frankly, am I. Knee yeah. drop by Blade. AIWF did the smart thing by putting Darren in this match. He's senior referee, got the most experience, and I'm sure this is going to test his ability. Yep. For sure. Okay, I got my breath caught. Snap suplex coming up. Nope, it's going to be a high angle one. Oh, Blade. Jason Blade with a big suplex and a float over. He's going to try to get the pin here. Only two. My goodness, the fans are just almost stunned by, by the proceedings here today. Blade with the rush side, Russian leg sweep, and he nailed it. And he's rolled it into a crippled oh. cross face. He's going to try to get a submission move maneuver, and Justin Flash is nowhere near the ropes. Oh, he, yeah, he's got him right where he needs him. No way to get to the ropes right here. I've never seen him tap out, Justin no, Nash, but, but you know, at a certain you, point, you, you have to think about the rest of your career also, Scott. That's true, and we're gonna have to, this is going to test a lot of the core work that Justin Flash has done over the last year to try to uh, broaden his game get a little bit more. He's, he's counting here. He may, he may be out. No. Nope. nope. He's got the hand up. He's fine. He's just trying to get, I think he was just trying to get his wits about him to try to get out of this. So he's put, got him up to a vertical base. That'll put an end to that. And an angle suplex. My goodness. Almost an angle slam. And now both men are, are cooked and so is the crowd. They're just blown out by this. I, I've never seen a match actually tire out the crowd, but this seems to have done so. But this is what the fans come to see right here. This Absolutely. Nowhere in the world do you have action like this but in AIWF. The Allied Independent Wrestling Federations have the two right guy. The Mid-Atlantic region have the two right guys there for this title, I'm convinced. What a clothesline by Jason Blade. Up on the top rope he goes, backing himself up there. Frog splash! Frog splash! That'll do it! But but Blade yeah. can't make the cover. Yeah, it looks like he's knocked, he knocked himself out. out. Oh, but he's... He can't cover him. He couldn't do it. Well, he couldn't get it. I mean, he, under normal just circumstances, those, that's those a free count. Just those couple extra seconds it took to get recover from that is my goodness. All just in flash needed. And he's going for the slice spread. That's just the finisher. The slice spread by Jason Blade. He's going to cover him. One, two. No, no, he got it barely. Scott, he did not hook the leg. And uh, as great a match as this has been, Jason Blade not hooking the match, I wonder if that's, that was his opportunity right there. You have to hook the leg on a guy like Justin Flash. He's too strong. But Flash looks like he's out cold. Oh, nope, right. never mind. He's back to his feet. He charges into his buddy Jason Blade and hits a forearm shot to the chest. Blade is in a, predic a predicament here, crotched on the top turnbuckle. Superplex coming up. Off the top turnbuckle. This is going to just shake the foundations of the ring here if he can hit this. Here we go! What a super flex. Oh my God, the ring bounced six inches off of the floor, Scott. My goodness! What a superplex by Justin Flash. And referee Darren making a turn count. No flashes up. He's going to cover him. Two and a half. He almost got it, but Jason Blade won't say die. My goodness. Uh-oh, here comes the falling headbutt. This could uh, this could end it for sure. Off the ropes he goes, and uh -oh. hit him right across the shoulder. Right across the shoulder. Oh, my gosh, just two. I thought that was it. 
Gosh, I'm almost punched out. We're only at the 10 minute mark. This is kind of action stuff that's been kept fans coming to AIWF for 21 years now. 10 minutes have elapsed. 10 minutes have elapsed. 20 minutes remaining. Flash charges in and Blade ducked out of the way. Oh, what a kick to the face by Jason Blade after hitting his friend to the turnbuckle. And it, it looks like, kick. yeah, right a back, back brain kick. Yeah, it's a bot kick to the back and a shoulder. Oh. There's a whisper in the wind from the outside. I've never seen that before. Either or, Northern Lights suplex, that can do it. No, he's gonna roll through it. And another Northern Lights suplex. That's two, and a bridge. Falling oh, to so Jason Blade. It, he's got to be fit to be tied at this point. Scott, you can't get any closer than that without actually getting the three count. He's hit his frog splash. He's had two Northern Light suplex. He hit the whisper in the wind. He's hit the sliced bread. What else does Jason Blade have in his arsenal? Yeah, he's got to be wondering what it's going to take to put this guy out. Justin Flash now put, posts his friend up on the top turnbuckle. What do we? What is he going to do next? Two right hands. And a headbutt oh. by Blade. One, two, three, Series four. Of headbutts. Just dr driving Ch Justin Flash off of there. He's going to charge in. And Flash kicked him in the chest. Oh. And this is just chest. turning into a fight. I can't keep track of this, Johnny Red. My goodness. Now, three forearm shivers by Blade. They're just going to do a battle on the top turn. Why don't they just start the match up there? My goodness. Oh, Jason Blade just hurt his knee. Flip bow driver! Oh my gosh! He got he it! Him. What a match! Two tough battles, two great opponents. Natural born player, Jason Blade, better luck to y'all in the near future, but right now it's my time, my chance, for the second time to be the AIWF World Champion. May 25th in Blue Ridge, Georgia. I've got that third spot. Salem Center 6. Bring what you got. Kyle Matthews, I know what you've got. And whoever that fourth guy's gonna be, it doesn't matter because I'm bringing everything you need to be a champion for, hey, I know, I've been champion, and the second run is coming. <laughs>